Well, we make jokes about Floridians and cold every year, but what about some of the other residents that live in Florida? We're talking about reptiles. I want to bring in Michael Ronquillo. He's from Humane Iguana Control in Miami, Florida. Michael, you know, we, we talk about this every year. We see the videos of iguanas laying belly up when it gets too cold outside. So what is actually happening here when it gets cold? What causes these iguanas to kind of freeze up and fall out of the trees? Uh, man, yeah, you know, uh, we're, we're, we're famous for that, you know, falling iguanas. Um, you know, typically when the temperatures, you know, go uh, in the low 40s, you know, that's when the iguanas become immobilized since they're cold water reptiles and they literally start falling from the trees. I mean, where, do, where do people typically find iguanas? You know, if people have been to South Florida, maybe they've missed out on seeing them. Where, where do they live? Where do they habitate? Where, where are you most likely to find one if it's too cold and they do end up uh, kind of freezing up? I mean, honestly, in South Florida, you can find them pretty much anywhere, you know, local parks, canals, um, you know, we've had um, iguanas inside of homes, um, you know, they try to do find warm areas to, you know, to stay warm, um, but at, at times they might end up in places you don't want them. The, the problem with iguanas falling from trees, you know, it can cause bodily harm and they can cause um, damage to personal property, it could hurt your pets. You know, I think last year um, there was a man doing yoga at a park and he was laying down doing his final pose and he one actually fell on top of him during the cold months you know and this it could be dangerous my gosh hopefully he was okay <laughs> um yeah. so does this happen every year do you guys get cold enough every year to see this happen or is it uh, kind of hit or miss with winters i mean typically uh, at least happens once or twice a year you know when it gets really really cold you know it it, it happens frequently and so what should we do if if this cold happens and the iguanas fall out of the trees onto your property? Because when they wake up, they can be dangerous. Their tails can whip you really hard. I know they got a set of sharp teeth as well. Yeah, the, the tails could whip you, you know, which can hurt, especially if you get hit in the face and you're in the eye. Um, they do have sharp claws, you know, they use for climbing, you know, so the, their claws could, you know, leave a, a nice gash in your arm or anywhere in your body. Typically, we usually recommend uh, for people that have iguanas on their property to get them removed prior to this happening to avoid any, any injuries. Um, you know, but if you do find any water frozen in your backyard and you have experience touching them, you know, I always suggest hiring a professional to do it properly so you don't get hurt. We remove the one that's as big as uh, about five, six feet long with their tail included, you know, roughly 20, 25 pounds. You know, they get pretty big. Also, you know, if, if you find frozen iguanas in your backyard and you want to bring them inside to warm up, we highly, highly recommend you do not do that because once they, you know, unfreeze pretty much, you can have a scary situation inside your house. Right. You go from being a nice person to a reptile chasing you around your home. All right. Thank you pretty so much. Mike Ronquillo, join us from Humane Iguana Control in Miami. Really appreciate your time and uh, hopefully uh, the hunting goes well tomorrow. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You too. Take care.